This is WJTV News Channel 12 this morning. You should come to church with your clothes being neat. When you leave church, you ought to be wrinkled and wet because you gave God that praise he deserves. Keeping energy high while grappling with tough issues, leadership at Free Mission MB Church. Talk about that balance. It's Sunday morning. We're putting faith in focus. Well, you've heard this term before, PTSD. That's post-traumatic stress disorder. But have you ever heard of indirect or secondary PTSD? Well, that's, what, that's when people start feeling the same symptoms as those that they're helping. For instance, a guidance counselor develops depression after learning about a child's ongoing abuse. Or a police officer's spouse needs help after something happens on the streets. So what about pastors and other church leadership? Well, we're asking the folks at a Free Mission MB Church, and they're putting faith in focus. <laughs> Before the sermon, Deacon Robert Gibbs reflects on a different type of collection. This one of questions that he handles as part of his duties as a member at Free Mission. Uh, for instance, I'm a lawyer. Uh, I get people come to me all the time who have legal problems. But the fact that I'm in church uh, also allows them to come to me with not only a legal problem, but a spiritual problem. So when I give them that, I can't take it home with me because if I take it home with me, it's going to dwell on me and I won't be able to do the next job that I have to do or give the next uh, opinion or give the next counseling session. So I try not to ever take a problem home with me. Have faith and accept whatever decision God gives us that God has made the best decision for us. Pastor Ronald L. Patton says healing may be the main thing that people want to talk to him about. He has also had to develop ways to cope with stories of serious problems, and those are skills that he also needed to develop for a secular job that he's held for the past 20 years. I've been a criminal investigator for the Hines County Public Defender's Office. I've seen work cases that were very, I would come home just depressed, just like, wow. I've worked murders, rapes, um, aggravated assault cases that you can see that's unheard of. But I have to know that my defense system says, look, God is trying to work something out in his people. We don't know what it is, but everything that happens on this earth that happens to us is working the good for the glorified God. <laughs> We see people in this community who have drug problems, alcohol problems, just what, whatever you can think of is in this community. And one of the reasons we're still here in this community is that we do want to help. And that church is located right off Florence Street, an offshoot of Lynch Street in Jackson. Very nice people out there. Now for a quick check in the forecast with Storm Team 12's John Mayer. This is WJTV News Channel 12 this morning. We've learned is that there's going to be a continual steps and actions of faith as we continue to do this. It's more about getting to learn and know our neighborhood. A West Jackson church finalizes plans for its first official service. What goes into a church startup? How about we put faith in focus? Let's start with this question. How hard is it to start a church? The answer, like to most questions, is it depends. Depends on what? Well, your goals. What kind of impact do you want to make? Do you want to just put some chairs in a room and hope that people show up? Or do you develop a plan of action, one that could take years to fully form and implement? The end of that process is coming quickly for Common Ground Church in West Jackson. It's putting faith in focus. The church has about 65 people on what leadership is calling its launch team. I think part of the, the time is really helping us to think through. We're, we're starting at 1037 a.m. to help us to remember uh, what it says in Luke 1037 to go and do likewise. My mind knows you're innocent, but it's my heart that feels the opposite. Jason Abrams, who everyone pretty much knows as Smiley, is co-pastor at Common Ground Covenant Church. He's one of those people who's been here from the start with John Perkins, the lead pastor, who says he made the conscious decision to plant this church in West Jackson. We, I can say we've learned a lot out of the three and a half, four years that has birthed this church. 
we're not uh, trying to bring Jesus Christ into this neighborhood and into this community. Christ is already here. Christ is already working here. We want to be a part of the restoration of this neighborhood and community. Through surveys and research in West Jackson, Pastor Perkins found out that 79% of people who live there are not involved with the church. This group is seeking to reach those people going public after a year of preparation, including outreach like a block party. It's more about getting to learn and know our neighborhood, getting to learn and know our community, and getting involved and getting engaged in other people's lives and not the other way around. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Um, it's been amazing to be a part of this community, um, to be able to see, and I think that I've been able to personally grow. Um, just as a leader, uh, just trying to figure out uh, and tr trial and error. And I think that process has really uh, helped mature me. Um, but also I've been able to see uh, my personal desire grow more for the community, just falling more and more in love with Jesus, falling more and more in love with his neighborhood. Services at Common Ground will be held now every Sunday starting one week from today. And remember, that starts at the very unique time. It's hard to forget, 1037 a.m. This is WJTV News Channel 12 this morning. Ultimately, it's just good to know that there are other people who have done what you're doing, uh, who are doing what you're doing. Uh, gives you an opportunity to see that successful marriages uh, are um, achievable. A growing ministry focuses on relationships at Relevant Empowerment Church, putting faith in focus. Pretty easy to recognize that pastor you just saw. That, of course, is Mayor Tony Yarber, who still every Sunday preaches, gives a sermon at Relevant Empowerment Church. So, though politically his Rolodex is growing, he's emphasizing the importance of those closest to us, husbands and wives. It's Sunday morning, he's putting faith in focus. The Children's Choir leads the music this week before Pastor Tony Arbor steps up for his sermon on grace. Grace allows that kind of deliverance to happen. And God's grace, perhaps, is something husbands and wives need to channel frequently. Say, for instance, my husband drives me crazy because he won't put the, the cup in the dishwasher that's right next to the sink. And it won't blow up and be a big deal because you'll know that there are other married couples who have the same issue. Vera and Willis Finley coordinate the marriage ministry at Relevant Empowerment. They say, like any couple, there's still a work in progress. Actually, in a couple of days, it will be seven years. But me Meeting with other church couples helps. Originally, it just kind of came up as an idea for the married couples to have something to do outside of church. Um, the church was kind of small and growing, so we had married couples over just to have dinner and kind of uh, have some downtime. Marriage is work. You know, when that wedding is over, when everyone's gone home and everyone's returned their dresses and their tuxedos, there has to be a conscious collective effort in that house uh, to make that marriage work. How the Bible reads, Pastor Yarber says God is always looking for representations of who he is on earth. He created a man, so we gotta go through a man. That means he's looking for representations of his relationship with the church, Jesus Christ being the head of it, with the church being his bride. And marriage, for Pastor Yarber, is also a balancing act, making sure political life does not consume him. But I think uh, ultimately, um, just being able to understand that uh, where, where my real um, core is, where my real center is, and my real center uh, is my family, my center is this, uh, my church family. Those are the things that make everything else happen as successfully as they do in my life. And uh, create a bond with each other, so if there are issues that come up, we have some direct contact so we're able to help each other with any issues that might come up. Relevant Empowerment Church also offers premarital counseling for couples. It's six sessions long, imploring people who go through it to have 10 specific conversations before taking that leap.